So I like to focus on the customer journey. Uh, the customer journey is kind of like the complete experience that a customer has with your organization. So it encompasses all like interactions across all the different channels, right? And there's a lot and, and usually you need some sort of like Excel spreadsheet or like map to um, really see all the different touch points that everyone at the company is um, doing and, and when. And so it gets really ugly sometimes. So uh, that's why I do give out a, a little template um, inside the book to help with that. Um, and I mean, you can look at you could look at that journey and and really it needs to be personalized to where they are at uh, at that journey. And then what I really like for strategic one to one, you know, like you may be able to get on a conversation or a phone call or attend an event where they're at, but they might not. Um, so using tools like uh, like Vouch um, to put your face on the, you know, send them like a, a personalized video or like screen share, show them the new, the latest feature that came out, really treat them like the, the white glove service, right? Roll out that red carpet for them and just be really in tune to their needs. It's totally overwhelming. I mean, if you go into the book and you see how many ways you can slice and dice your customers, it's like, oh my God. Um, so yeah, the process will involve analyzing account data, uh, you know, th first think about like size, revenue, industry, um, potential revenue value. Um, I like to say, even though they may be a fit, they don't have a need, right? So you're not gonna like land it uh, right every single time. Um, but yeah, many marketers, they, they attempt to prioritize accounts based on uh, the factors that are most important to the company, right? Yeah. Like revenue, <laughs> um, which, hey, there's, there's no problem with that. Like, if you look at the statistics of my Supercenter advocacy group, you'll probably see that like, yes, I have the top senders and spenders, um, but it just so happens that they love the platform and that any upsell or cross sell opportunities are being targeted towards my advocates because they are the most likely to, uh, they're, they're quick adopters um, and they're you know more likely to take a meeting and, and all that stuff. First, let's do an audit of the content that you have um, and see if it can be tweaked slightly. Um, if it can't, then you know, you can move on, uh, put, you know, kind of like a, a white space in your customer journey like to do <laughs> or get a freelancer to write this type of content if you don't have any resources um i would focus on content that is still relevant to your audience right so sometimes like there's old content out there that can still be relevant um and so if you have to change a couple icons or like put your new branding on that like that should be a pretty easy thing to do um Focus on content that is uh, based on analytics, I guess, right? So like, if you have any way to track what content is being uh, consumed, then that would be a great place to dig into. Like, oh, okay, well, this like really resonated with the audience. So um, let's go deeper on this topic. So that's a good one. Um, and then, yeah, we talked about kind of tweaking things, but but content pieces that are easily modified to speak to your target audience. Um, so again, by use case or industry or just straight website personalization <laughs> that like speaks directly to them. I do have a tip uh, if you're a big enterprise company and you're global, um, there's a way to, to personalize your website to speak in their language. Mm -hmm.